make a wooden sticker with Cricut. Step 1, first get your design ready in Cricut Design Space. Step 2, or if you have a design to use, upload it to Design Space. Step 3, select the image, click offset, set it to 0.25, check the corner, and click apply. Step 4, change the color of the offset by clicking on the color swatch button in the operation section. Step 5, repeat the same steps to add the offset to the rest of the designs. Step 6, when you're ready with the design, click make, select the first mat with the offsets and click continue. Step 7, Grab the wood sheet and trim off a piece from the double-sided adhesive. Step 8. Peel off the liner from the double-sided adhesive, place it on top of the material and smooth it out using a brayer. Step 9. Leave the backer on from the adhesive, then flip it over and place the material on the mat with the adhesive side down. Step 10. Smooth it down using a brayer and tape it down to ensure that it stays in place. Step 11. Now, go back to Cricut Design Space, click Continue, and click Browse All Materials. Step 12, search wood and select natural wood veneer for material, then click Done. Step 13, go to your Cricut machine, load the mat in and insert the deep point blade into the machine. Step 14, press the C button to start cutting. Step 15, once it's done cutting, grab the weeding tool and check if it's cut all the way through. Step 16. Unload the mat and peel off the material from the mat. Step 17. Now, when you peel off the design, it'll peel off with the double-sided adhesive, leaving the backer sheet. Step 18. Place the design back into the material and peel off the tape. Step 19. Go back to Cricut Design Space, select the second mat, and click Browse All Materials. Step 20. Search and select Stencil Vinyl, then click Done. Step 21. Now, grab the vinyl, place it on the mat, smooth it down, and trim off the excess. Step 22. Switch the blade to a fine point blade, load the mat in, and start cutting. Step 23. While it's cutting, grab a transfer tape and trim off the excess. Step 24. Once it's done cutting, unload the mat and weed out the design. Step 25. Peel off the vinyl from the mat and cut out the design. Step 26. Grab the transfer tape, peel off the backing sheet, then apply it onto the vinyl decal and smooth it down. Step 27. Peel off the backing sheet from the vinyl and apply the decal onto the previously cut design on the wood. Step 28, smooth it down using a scraper tool, then peel off the transfer tape. Step 29, place the transfer tape on the other vinyl decal, smooth it down, peel off the backing sheet, and apply the decal onto the wood cut. Step 30, go ahead and repeat the same steps to transfer the decal for the rest of the steps. Step 31, once done, wear protective gloves, then apply an even coat of torch paste onto the design. Step 32, apply the torch paste evenly in the rest of the design and make sure to get every corner. Step 33, once done, apply heat to burn the design using a heat gun. Step 34, once you're done torching the design, peel off the vinyl. Step 35, pull off the sticker from the excess material. Step 36. Once you're done burning the rest of the design, weed it out. Step 37. Now, go ahead and place the sticker onto the surface. For more such help and information, visit us at www.mannymaker.com or call us at plus one seven eight six eight six six five nine three two plus four four zero two zero three nine eight three zero four eight zero